I thought you were going to start I was going to start it, but then I froze. Oh. <laughs> Here we are again with another The English Couple. The English Couple. <laughs> A couple of English nuts. Nut cases. In our previous video, you may uh, remember that um, we were in, in Suffolk. We're now in Norfolk and we're in a town called Dis. Dis is where we are. This is it. And uh, we've had a little walk around already, but so we've got a vague idea of where we're going. It's an absolutely beautiful market town and we thought we'd take you on a little meander. With, so, Mar with Julia, with, not Miranda. Not Miranda, no. So, should we go? Yes, let's. I don't want to put the, uh, put the camera. camera in the light, which I did anyway. See, I'm training her up to try and, you know, so I don't have to do quite so much filming. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're going down into the main sort of market area, um, the Dis Heritage Triangle. There's a sign there that says it, so um, that makes me... Yeah. Obviously, it's up here, we're not sort of facing So there we go. So this is um, very old. Thank you. <laughs> Remember to. Very old. Very old indeed, apparently. <laughs> Happy Palace. Apropos of nothing. Apropos of nothing. Happy <laughs> she just says, Happy Palace. Thank you. Next week. Greyhound. Next week. Well, I bet everyone can guess that it's a Chinese restaurant called Happy Palace. A corn hall over there. That's the Greyhound pub. It's not a corn Where hall. That. What? The thing with the columns. Oh, and yes. The oh, the corn exchange. Thing. The old corn exchange. Yeah. Oh, I'm just getting an alert on the battery telling me it's about to die and oh. I need to go back to the van and get another one. Right. So I should do that. We'll pause that now. Pause there. Ah, I think that's it. I think I've got the battery in. There we go. <laughs> Panda's, uh, panda's feet done. Yes. Pause, pause, pause. Oh, panda's feet. Panda's feet. Yeah. I thought that was like some Latin expert. No, nothing clever. Nothing clever like that. So anyway, here we are in Dis, ladies and gentlemen, with some beautiful um, different architectural buildings to have a look at. We're heading down towards the church. We are, if the sun is that way, we must be going east. Yes, because yes, the sun's Cross obviously... Oh, there. there's a car. Oak, old oak beams. Can't really hear you, I'm afraid. The Greyhound pub with all its old oak beams looks inviting. But the interesting thing about the church, the first thing I notice, looks like it's got a crown on its tower. Oh. So I thought we'd get a closer look. Yes, which is always difficult. Yeah. It's always difficult on the GoPro to do anything closer when it's in the distance because it's a wide angle lens on the camera. And unlike loads of uh, cameras where you can zoom in, we can't. Just thought I'd point that out. Oh, look, that wallpaper. Oh, yeah, that was what's in the, uh, the Limes hotel room. Yeah, how funny. <laughs> so we now know where they got their wallpaper from, <laughs> sorry. Yes, in the Limes Hotel, which we stayed, just to give you the explanation of that, we were given a room after we had done a talk, and the little fake panelling um, wallpaper was on there. And it's really weird when you suddenly see it in the shop window and you go, hang on a minute, ding, <laughs> I know that, I know that. It's gorgeous architecture, isn't it? Very lovely little, you know, comedy streets, lots of uh, old medieval houses with their jutted out... Um, upper floors um, here we've got one but it's pretty much hidden really and that was uh, somebody with some modern music mm. but have a look at the church with with what you said was a crown on the top it certainly looks like it and the clock doesn't work anymore it's not six o'clock <laughs> PM or AM. Shall we see if it's open and go in and have a look? That's a good idea. I don't know where the door is. Oh, there's a oh. there's a kind of an entrance over that way. Probably that side. Hoping it's open. 
I'm not going to hope too much that we're going to find something as fascinating as the last year. But worse, worse things, we can always go down to the mere and walk on water. Oh yes. So, so this is St Mary's pa Parish Church yeah. and it is quite a dominant church here in Dis, as you can see. It's mm. uh, made with lots of flint. I wonder where they get the flint from around here. Oh, it is open. I don't know, wherever you go, there's just noise, <laughs> absolute noise. But there's a beautiful house here with amazing timber mm. framing. Um, I don't know how old it is. It's now a spice cottage, it says. Which, yes, I, it's just jarred my back. Did you, sorry, I, know, I keep oh, doing that. Oh no. <laughs> how about that? Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? I think I need to touch the timber. It's as near to tree hugging that you can get, isn't it? Yeah, when it comes to a building. But what I like about this is, again, it's very organic, isn't it? It's an all, look at that tiny little window down here. I see a storeroom now. Yeah. Organic shape that they, they come out as with the, uh, the shapes of, of the wood. The timber, yeah. People often say, and we heard it this morning, that um, many of these timber frame buildings were made from ship's timber. But I don't think that's actually accurate. It um, happened occasionally, but... I think a lot of ship's timber were made into other ships rather than... And if it was made into houses, they were mostly made into houses near the ports where the, where the ship's timber were taken apart. Yeah. I've heard this many times and I have read, I think it was Oliver Rackham who said, yeah, that's an urban myth that houses were made of ship's timber. Mm. Don't quote me on that. Don't, My, don't, don't quote him on that. Don't quote yeah, me now. Which way is it down to the mere? Um, we did see it coming back this way. Didn't we see it down here and turn right? Yes. Because we came up. Yes, yes. We came, yeah. we came up this way. A bit. We'll turn around. Probably. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll find it down here somewhere. Yeah. Let's give you another showing of the actual route. Here we go. Aren't we clever? Yeah. 
You are? We, yeah, thanks. We've got the mere, and by mere chance, we're also by the bit where you walk on the water. And there's a fisherman down there who is fishing in the water. For his dinner lady. Yeah, his dinner lady. His dinner lady. His dinner lady, maybe. It's a lovely little, uh, lovely little patch of water. 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 Water are you doing? I'm sitting here being a lake. But somewhere between a pond and a lake, actually. Warning, blue green algae. Avoid contact with the water. It may yeah. cause skin irritation. Oh, 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 sploosh. Oh, no. So let's see if we can get onto the, onto, oh wait, no, hang on. I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> one foot on the land and one foot on the water. Ah. Here? Both feet on the water. <laughs> Floating pontoon. So yes, this broadwalk was built by the District Council of Dis, which is the District Council. Oh, you see what I did there? And it crosses this wonderful, it, well they call it a mere, don't they? They call this a yeah. mere, which is uh, a mere body of water. <laughs> and is a mere recall. But we're here at all. A mere recall. This doesn't show itself at once. You have to find its treasures. And the sun was out a few minutes ago. It's uh, one dark cloud which is just now hiding our lovely faces. Mm. What are you doing, lovely Julia? What are you doing? I'm cloud busting. Cloud busting. Da -da -da. <laughs> the girl with the electrified fingers. She's busted the blooming cloud. Oh no, look, the sun has come out, it works. Gardens of Take Delight. And there's a picture here, I'll show it to you in a second. It says, from here you can see the older buildings surrounding the mere. Turn their backs on it, not surprising. I'm reading it all in the wrong place. Here, have when, a look. As well as industrial use, it took the contents of the town's privies, toilets and stables. And you see this? It's there. And you see that? It's, it's not there. Gone. It's gone because it was demolished. But apparently it was a hospital and it had a little light on the top and it was known as the, as the lighthouse. I read that earlier. When we first came wandering around. Well read that man. Thank you. Yes, you are very yes, well. Yes, that's read. it. I read something. <laughs> and if you want to get uh, some bit of property, there's something down there for sale. Garden butts on. Just there. If you've got a big butt, you can have your garden butts <laughs> on. After you. Thank you. They obviously lock that with that gate we've just gone through. I guess at night time to stop vagabonds from climbing over and going for midnight swims in the nuddy. <laughs> to prevent drunks from drowning. Oh, is that my, yeah, could well be. This is I very thought that nice. was pretty much what you were saying. Yeah, yeah, that's very true, actually. What are these, hazel? Yeah. Well, no, they don't look like yeah. hazel. They look like just leaves on trees. Here, oh, this is hazel. Through a hazel gateway. Look at Julia. That looks like hornbeam. Jagged edges of a hornbeam, maybe. Oh, maybe you're right. Or a young beech. What fascinated me was this, an old plough, look at this. Apparently it would, it would have been pulled by a pony rather than a horse. Oh right, this uh, two-wheeled plough cost up to five pounds, five shillings and nine pence, it says on this post here. And um, the one-wheeled plough was slightly cheaper if you had one wheel. Oh, the two-wheeled plough was the other one, a pound cheaper pretty much, which is around 2,000 pounds in today's money. And this is what you'd get. Stand at the end, Julia. Give us this idea of size. The Swootman Champion Plough. Swootman Champion Plough. 
It's very tiny, really. Mm. When you say, I mean, okay, so you've got the horses and what have you, but when you think of these massive ploughs, the machines, the tractors and what have you they use these days, no wonder they can plough and do things ever so good. But I love the idea of one man, his boy, and the horse, one or two horses, ripping the country apart, <laughs> ploughing and scattering. And because what they don't seem to understand is that Charles Dowding worked out you didn't need to dig at all. Yeah, but at least they didn't um, compact the ground and plough up, well, completely plough up the um, substrate there. Uh, the, yes, because it's much smaller, yeah. less deeper and um, ha less harsh. Yeah. Mycorrhizal network, I think is what I'm trying to say. Yes. I think I've said it right. Never get it. Um, what's the name of this pattern? Um, an S bend. S an S. S I'm sure S there's another term for it. Esoteric bend. Is Sorry? it an esoteric bend? Yes. You did very well in that, by the way, you were Thanks. dancing. I thought very that much. was marvellous. I would have done that, but of course, um, hold it in the camera. Yeah. Up here, we get a view of what it looks like. It's kind of a bit like a figure of eight, really, isn't it? Yes. An open figure of eight as such. Yes. Looks like some people are doing some filming up there. <laughs> See what they're up to. <coughs> After you. If you don't find it, then you know, don't worry. It's, it's, it's not the end of the world. Just, yeah, take good care of yourself and don't get lost. Okay. Okay, thank you. I don't know, all these people out with their cameras making films. <laughs> it's an outrage. So, I don't know where we are now, but we are overlooking the mere. The mere is merely yards away down there. Lovely map over here. Oh, and a lovely map. Oh, yes, this is the best map to look at. I only painted it this morning. <laughs> Let's have a look. You are here. Oh, I thought I was over here. Actually, I think we're here. So if you look very carefully, we came down past the Cornwall. I mean, not Cornwall. Corn Hall. The Corn Hall. We came down here, round here somewhere. Through the church. Through the church. Came out the other side. Can't Where's see that? Me. Here Probably. it is. Came out. Well, that doesn't seem right. Uh, yeah. And then. Weird. And then down here a bit. There. And then onto the boardwalk. Through the esoteric bend. And then up to here. So, and now we've got to try and find the van again. So I, I think we lost it. Oh, wait a minute. So now we just walk through there and back up there. Yeah, I know exactly where we are. Remember that because we Remember may that. ask you. Because it's a test. We're relying on you guys. Yeah, because we don't know quite gals. where we are. Uh, girls and gals. Guys and gals. Guys, oh, guys and dolls. Did we come up this road before? Uh, no. We go this way. Ah, we were the other side of this. Yes. There was one other building that really interested me, but that means walking back down that way and past the church again. But it was gorgeous. Sorry, you can't see it. Another time. Pointless me even mentioning it. Because now you feel bereft that we haven't had the effort to do it. But to be honest, we're both a bit knackered, aren't we? It's, it's, We've been um, walking up and down hills. You wouldn't think there was hills in Norfolk. By the way, we're in East Anglia and this is Norfolk, and um, there's not supposed to be any hills, but all we've done at the moment is gone up and down hills. Uh, luxury ice cream, I'm very tempted to buy you a luxury ice cream. Have you got your wallet on you? Because I've only got £2.50 on me. I have got my wallet. Hey, get in. Should we get some? Look at the lovely old bicycle. Oh, look. Hmm. Hmm. In Lansing, they do, um, they decorate bikes like this and they have them popped around and, and locked in on certain places, making Lansing lovely again. They are quite lovely.
those things play havoc with video because they strobe and do weird things. This is a better one. Very nice. Sorry. That's all right. Yeah, stop saying sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. <laughs> Stand your ground. <laughs> oh, so sorry. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, now I'm saying sorry. <laughs> right, we'll go in there and we'll get some ice creams and we'll finish the video and show you what they're like. Be right back. Mm. Wait a second. I've got to go and check when it's one's which. One is cherry bakewell and one is black cherry. That's mine, that's yours. Excellent. Cheers, big. Um, cheers, big. Big. Bigs. Cheers, smalls. <laughs> cheers, Thank smalls. you very much. My pleasuring. Um, a fiver for two of those. Good value, I think. Cherry and one of them was specially well. made. Today. Today. For the shop. For the shop. What's the shop called? It's called Harriet's, Harriet's. Home and Garden. So we're going to gobble those and you're going to go and watch something else. But of course you're going to put a nice comment and Ooh. you're going to put a like on this channel and you're going to subscribe. Please do, this is gorgeous. If you come to Dish, visit here, get the cherry. This is just the um, black Cause, cherry. Because Dish is gorgeous. Dish is gorgeous. Until next time from us, Toodle Pippin. <laughs>